Hello Emily, hello Nigel. Hi Mort. Hello Mick, how are you? Andrew, hello. <laughs> Victoria. Donna, Michelle, hello, Diane, good morning. <laughs> this is the FR, I think. Hi, Barn. Hi, Peter. Hi, Mick Day. So we are out on our local hunting. Oh, yeah, look, Diane. my button's on. <laughs> Hello Tina. <clears throat> yeah, we're out on our location hunting day and Danielle has found this very, very old in a very bad state place, but pretty cool actually. It is pretty cool. I'll turn you around and show you what we have so far. Right, I'm upstairs now look at the state of this bad boy. Hi Mandy. You wouldn't want to live here, that's for sure. Oh, is it in Nevada? Oh wow. Yes, Kirsteen, live now. <laughs> Very early. <laughs> wow, Mick. Um, Danielle's fine this. Hi Dan. It, there's outbuildings and this tiny little thing. Um, was a house by the looks of it. Not much of a house now. Hi, Shelby. Yes, it's a, it's a bit worse for wear. If you see what I'm standing on right now, you'd be laughing. And half a staircase. I mean, what is that all about? Um, yeah, it's not great. Hi, Melissa. How you doing? And it's very open plan. That's all I can say about this one. Um, you know, I've heard of letting the air in. Um, this is a bit much, to be honest. <laughs> Hi, Donna. Yeah, it's, uh, it is a bit worse for wear. But we haven't just got this building. I'll take you downstairs and show you the state of that as well. <laughs> oh, thank you, Diane. That is lovely. Right, so I'm going to go down these. Hello, Christina. Hi, Shirley. Yeah, so I'm upstairs. For, um, Christina and Shirley, look. And this tiny little cottagey house type thing. I don't even know what's happened to it. Probably wear and tear over the years. Yeah, pretty, pretty much. As for wildlife, that's exactly it. <laughs> yeah, look, especially that bit. See, you can you can have your own aviary within your home. You know, you can you, look. Yeah, a bit of the jungle coming in. Oh, we're fine, Charlene. Don't worry. All good. Um, yeah, it just there actually was somebody really their own part of the land, so it was okay. I think it was a bit aggressive at first because it, apparently he's had a lot of stuff stolen from there which we said we'd never do um and he was fine hi debbie now look there is no more staircase so i'm gonna have to kind of do that right now look at this look at this for a beauty hi natasha hi anita now there's a sofa up for grabs Yeah, Melissa, once all this crazy, craziness is out of the way with this bleeding COVID, then we'll sort something out, sweet. We call them um, open plan. Yeah? You can have your own aviary within your home. Yep. I'm back, I know, Pam. It's, uh, it is a bit hit or miss again. We're in the middle of nowhere. Once again. Um... But yeah, there's not much left of down here either. Apart from a sofa. 
No, Peter. No. Don't be silly. They like us. We're honest. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. I'll show you the state of the front. <laughs> there you go. Look at the state of it. Um, yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. And then we got this bad boy, which to me, there's our Danielle. There she is, there she is, there she is. Can you get my big head out of the way? It's like a carriage, isn't it? I was about to say, you know, like the yeah. ones at Ashford's, the cattle. Yep, yep, an old carriage. For moving cattle and stuff. Ooh. Yep, no problem, Melissa. Hello, Teresa. There you go, Donna. <laughs> every <We've>, cloud. <laughs> every cloud. We found the perfect house. Look at that. Perfect. Can move in straight away. Fully furnished. <laughs> like you said, open plan. <laughs> yeah, Shirley. Avery Greenhouse, rural retreat. <laughs> it's so sad, though, isn't it? Yeah. Such it is. Property. Yep. It's what they all do, though, isn't it? It's horrible. Oh, Lisa, watching from Western Australia. Love it. Ooh. Right, so Andrew's one in the sofa. Oh, right, yeah. Okay, so we've sold the house yep. to Shirley. Andrew wants the sofa. You have to fight Martin for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Teresa says, hi, Danielle. Hi, Teresa. <laughs> oh, Diane. What are you hiding for? 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 Don't hide. I know, Donna. See, you get all sorts of wildlife here. Just Good morning, Christine. I know. Let's go around the other bit and see what's occurring there. Oh, the things we do. Can you see this? Look what we're doing. I nearly got garroted on the way in as well. <laughs> Santiago from America. Hello, sweetie. It does, Shirley. It really <laughs> does. And yet it's so tiny. How much a month? Ah, oh, Melissa. I'll let you have it for 300, being that it's a, <laughs> there's only a half week. left. <laughs> <laughs> 300 a week. 300 a week. God, she's expensive, isn't she? Is there a hot tub? Yeah, of course there is. What we do is we bring a there bowl. Is next door. Yeah, next door. Yeah, there is next door, actually, yeah. It's a hot tub place. Yeah, what we do is we take a, a bowl of hot water. Yeah, Martin's there and he has about three or four straws. And he just blows into the straws. There we go. Oh, right. And now we're in another beautiful part of the establishment. Which again, yeah, look, summer house. Oh, I keep losing my trees. Get your own summer house. Can I have the shrubs? I'll take the fire, Lisa. I tell you what, Lisa, I'm amazed it's still there because the scallywags that go into these places normally see things like that, don't they? And they're worth a bloody fortune. Ugh. Now, this is what normally happens to my ankles, by the way. Yeah. Oh. Five. Because she might think I'm ignoring her. I bet it was, Diane, yeah. She said that, I'm not to I know, I know. So it is cool. It's just very hard for me to get my head around how they could stay in a property that is so small. Hi Kate, how are you doing gorgeous? Um, yeah, it's not looking too safe, look. The tree is basically keeping the building up, which is amazing. Ah, oh, Michael from USA, hello. <laughs> Let's have a look. Yeah, it's not looking too safe, is it? I kind of like it though. Yeah, it must have been. It's just that house is so it was small. Farmhouse, little tiny farmhouse. 
and then yeah you can still see where they would have separated the animals over there yeah yeah hello marianne from essex Hello. oh essex can be island can be island nice by the beach wow Gina, hello. I've been stung again Someone's in our up. freaking house. I've got it all the way up my leg. I'm oh. just, I've managed it. I'm <laughs> Mine's up walking around, just itching. <laughs> it's awful, isn't it? Oh, so there we go, people. That is our first, well, Danielle's find. Hello, Frida. How are you? Yes, yeah, what I mean, Melissa. So you get loads when you join one entity. You get the offer of a beautiful building <laughs> to move into with all the furnishings and the free wildlife that goes with it. Hello, Jessica. Um, we can attempt to go in there. I'm guessing. <laughs> in there. It's outside. <laughs> oh, dear God. Hello, Donna. Okay, so if you can picture it now, um, you've just gone to Marx's, no, not Marx's, you've just gone to Next to buy your garden furniture. Oh, look at that for a table. Oh, come on. It's art. Thank you, Donna. Coming in from the UK. Oh. Donna, yay. Tom, hey, do you know what? Spirits are there all the time, aren't they? Um, we, don't, we do more of um, an explorer thing during the day. We have on occasions got the spirit box out and done something if we've really felt something. But it's more of a showing you the places we go to and, you know, what we're up to. Um, and... Yeah, we put hours into this. Hours. And if we think it's going to be good for an evening, we'll come back. Thank you, Irene. No, Marianne, we've not done this one before. We found it today. We have loads and loads and loads of places that we have to go and check out before. That's why we say, like, we put hours into it because we um, will come out and do hours during the week and then we go back of an evening to to live from them if they are you know good enough to do see you Donna you take care sweetie Teresa from Essex to Basildon now yeah, Melissa you gotta have a laugh ain't you bab thank you Irene Brian from Hollyhead. It's a cool place though, and the sun's out, which is lovely. <laughs> oh, Michael, thank you so much. Put all the different time zones, it's crazy, isn't it? Let's just go out the front a minute. I want to see if we can get to oh, the other one, which you probably can't from here, to be fair no you can't from here so yeah so it's just literally outbuildings and a very old tiny tiny cottage um which again is pretty amazing it's just a shame that kids have obviously been in and set fire to it and done their usual as they always do so that's what they do moo moo yeah no you're in the stable on top of all that look <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> That's quite fresh, that high, isn't it? I just thought the same thing as Did I you? I thought that looked fresh. It has been abandoned, though, isn't it? Hello, Lorraine. 100%, yeah. Never. They've just done one, haven't they? Oh, what a shame. It's probably a good 50 years ago in all Martin or something. Oh, easy. Easy. It's just been left to rot, hasn't it? Hello MC, how are you doing? I'm quite intrigued about up there, but I wouldn't risk it for a biscuit. Hell no. No. 
I mean, look, you've just got old towels and lit just hanging there. There's old horse stuff on there, isn't it? Is there? Mm. Okay, so um, this is our first one for today. We have got a few more to go and visit along the way. So what I'll do is for now, I will say a big fat farewell to you all. You're going the wrong way, it's round here. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> so, do you want to say goodbye? Bye, thank you. <laughs> she is getting stunned to death. She is getting stunned to death. Right, thank you so much. This was our first one for today. We will be back if we find any more. Uh, we'll just keep live in as much as we possibly can and show you what, what they found. So, thank you so much. Thank you for the stars as well. Really appreciate it. Love you all very much and see you soon. Bye. 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 <laughs>